Well, here we are at the flea market. What are you doing, QP? Oh. Right here, hiking around in the swap meat flea market. Collecting plunder. Let's see here, so far, bought one of these uh, called pie iron. We always called them hobo pie maker. And a water pump for the bus. There's Wiggles and my wife collecting toys. I think Cupy and I are gonna roll. He's getting tired of sitting still. This is half the fun of being out here is buying junk you don't need. Old iron, flea market stuff's all mixed in together. That's the sawmill operation or the old case steamer. Sawmill, we're just out cruising, checking out the tractor show. Pulling sled. The old man beat him. He still couldn't catch him with that ball. All right. We are out for a cruise. Wiggles has taken us to see the tractor show. A little bumpy. Keep us over on the smooth part, Wiggles. Keep us over on the smooth part. Yeah. What the? Oops. All right, this is the uh, Boy Scouts cabin. They built that out here probably 15, 20 years ago. It's where the Boy Scouts stay when they come here and they uh, serve breakfast most mornings. Local Sheriff Department provides a security detail. Got the case steamer fired up, looks like. Sorry for the bouncing and jones, but this is a hard tire trailer we're riding in with no suspension. Oh yeah, got smoke curling out of the stick on the old case. Yeah, we'll go over to the next row and then head back. So turn right and then turn right again. Oh, go stop at this guy right up here that's talking. We gotta talk to him. All right, we had to stop and get some uh, direction on how for Wiggles to get his driver's license so he can play in the tractor games tomorrow. Play the horn, Wiggles. Right. Turn on this one, Wiggles. Turn down this one. Keep it rolling. We 
we gotta get back before it gets too wet. Just keep heading back to our camp now. There, play your tune for Dave. And this is bumpy. Saw milling operation. We'll try and get some video of all that stuff running tomorrow. Careful, Wiggles, you're gonna get yourself in trouble if you start doing crazy stuff. No, go up Dar Street. everybody this is uh, Saturday morning biggest day of the show I'm in here cooking some pancakes everybody else is outside around the campfire I tried cooking these in the campfire and I was burning pancakes left and right so I said to heck with that came inside where we actually have some uh, controllable heat but went down to about 50 degrees last night we got the furnace running the old wander lodge so we've had a nice balmy 65 and yeah I'm gonna have some fun today I'll just take you guys for a hike around Today is Cupid's second birthday, and we're on our way over to watch them firing up the Black River Railway's locomotive, the House of David. So this was from an amusement park that was run by, I don't know what you'd call it, other than a cult here in West Michigan, House of David. They had baseball teams, all kinds of weird stuff that were public outreach stuff. Anyways, they shut down. This is only the second time in 50 years that this engine's been fired, so. Hanson Express, 902. That's this, Gilpie. There goes. Choo Choo Gungo. What? Yeah. The first time, we'll give you a break. There she goes. The choo choo, huh, Cupid? Here's where the engine is headed, is over to this end of the line. They got the kids set up here with the track laying demonstrations. This is as far as they've got so far. There's Wiggles helping lay ties. way around. Get 
set back up the pulling again today. Wiggles laying some rail here. Laying rails. Good work, Wiggles. Better hurry, Wiggles. The locomotive's coming. You got track to get laid. Uh, Pat Engels there, going up to talk to the engineer, this is the club president. There she is, she made the run around here. Cupid wants out. All right. Cupid and I are going to go back to the motor home. Wiggles is staying here to carry on with track land. So there's no real method to the madness out here. It's just kind of pick a spot and set up. So it tends to segregate more based on friends and acquaintances than it does on types of tractors or engines or anything. So be a pretty healthy mixture of everything. Yeah. Cupid generally calls trains, tractors, anything like this choo-choos, so. So we're driving, walking along here, I keep hearing from the back, a choo-choo. You see a choo-choo, Cupy? -choo. Yeah, there you have it, right from the baby's mouth, a choo-choo. A choo-choo! Here's some, my friend. All right, Dave, you better look good. You're going on YouTube. Hi. You're about to get internet famous first thing in the morning. Hi. Morning. morning. What's going on? Dave hooked us up with a pile of LED light stuff. They're doing a uh, nighttime lighted parade with the tractors. So we're going to try and uh, get hooked up with that tonight. My first tractor ever was the next model older wheel horse than that one. The one I had had the engine up between uh, your legs. They were uh, affectionately uh, referred to as nut burners. Let's 
What's that, huh? What's that? Here's one of Joe's new toys. What do you think, Wiggle? Should Zayday help you build some of these? Yeah. That'd be a fun one there. Get that furnace fired up so you can make the gas in the air. Pretty cute. We're going to see if we can get this old to start again. Kind of looks like you might have. The way it stopped. Yeah. Oh, cool.
trying to get this chase fired up. Priming the cylinder, a little bit of gasoline in. Some of these old engines just start them by priming them like that, get set just get just after tap dead center and then plugging the buzz coil in and they'll touch off. Some of them they'll bounce them backwards against compression and get them to fire and then come on around. Propane in. 2520 diesel, nice looking tractor. And what do we got here? Tell you, oh, it's an H. Nice gussied up H. To get his tractor testing done, you got to get a uh, tractor driving license if you're under 16 to be able to operate your equipment around here. So he's got to weave in and out of amongst the cones, weave and all right. I think you're gonna be next, Wiggles. This boy's gonna do it, and then I think you. Running through the skills course. He's rounding the first curve. Everybody keeps skipping the first turn. Alright, now he's got to back her into this parking space. Thank you. So they're gonna do kids' lawn tractor or pedal tractor poles here. Thank you, Pete. So they're all signing up over here. Wiggles is signed up to pull. All right. This is the pullers meeting right here. This kid's a pro. Here it is.
is the signature event. All right, Wiggles, get her done. Go, Wiggles. <laughs> A lot of people out here today. This is the tail end of the track. I said tail end. I don't even know where we are. The parade is still going. Oh yeah, this is my uh, buddy Dave, who you all met this morning, coming through with the Uni Mug. Oh, that's Dave. He's a total hoot. We cut through here. All right, so this is my old cider press. My brother and one of my friends are doing a old school cider pressing demonstration out here. Sure works a lot better than the last one, don't it? Huh? Sure works a lot better than the last one. Just eat them. Those pear apples are real juicy. Look, you're running heavy juice off already and you haven't even started squeezing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking I dump what's in there out and then you just go to squeezing and saving. We dump out the what you're getting out of the grinder and just go yeah, for it after fine. that. We needed to flush it anyway. Yeah. You just may have to stop mid-squeeze and dump that thing out. I didn't realize how small that tub was. Does this hopper come off in or not really? Um, the whole thing does, but that's it. I always just took the quarter turn in that. And... Oh, what are we doing here? Yeah. Faster, Nate. <laughs> Stick your finger in the dike. Rain a 
lot more in there, is there? Like, you had about hit the end of it. Yeah. yeah. Now I can feel it. Getting some resistance out of her. The good news is the pear apples don't appear to be coming through the sieve. That's yeah. what I was worried about. It's been a good week. We're uh, down here to late Saturday afternoon, closing in on evening. I'm uh, headed down to figure out where Wiggles went. He got that driving permit earlier, so he was excited to use it. So we're gonna go, he took a run now. I'm going to find, we got a string lights on his tractor for the lighted parade tonight. All right, head her back to camp. We'll go get your lights strung up. There's Wiggles with all of his cousins and some friends. All right, they have a lighted tractor parade tonight. Wiggles and I have just got done rapid style rigging up some LED strip lights on his lawn tractor so that he is ready to cruise. What do you think, Wiggles? Any of your cousins riding with us or are they all riding with Uncle Sim? All right. Well, let's go show Dave your new lights. This is the lighted tractor parade. Everybody's rolling in, getting ready to go through the nighttime parade. There's Wiggles. All right, everybody, so the show is winding down. We're out here Sunday afternoon. We're getting ready to go load up Wiggles' tractor and put it in the bed of the truck. But starting to see lots and lots of loads of tractors rolling out of the showgrounds. No. Now we start counting down days until uh, 2025. So about 360 days until the flywheelers happens again. Yeah, this was all solid tractors yesterday and now it's getting to be some holes in here. That's pretty cool. Cool Ford Flathead V8 Doodlebug tractor. This is one that I just helped do some work on. They brought me the cylinder head uh, to this the other day. I had this, uh, if you go back and look at my video, videos, I was uh, tool post grinding some valve seat inserts. That was for this machine, so. And I've worked on other stuff for a couple of these tractors. Anyway, that's the most recent one. All right, well, we're gonna go get Wiggles tractor loaded so we can start getting the big tractor loaded and get headed out of here pretty quick. This is Wiggles and I's last cruise of the show. We're gonna take one buzz around and then we're going to load the old Cockshut 40 up. Time to break camp. It's always a bit of a sad day. It's only 360 days until the tractor show again. Friends and acquaintances all wrapping up. A lot of these people we won't see again until next year, but say, been coming here. My buddy Joe uh, questioned my memory, and I guess that after I've been telling everybody I've been coming here since I was 15. Joe thinks we were younger than that when we started coming here, but I really don't know. I'd have to do the math. Yep, turn left. But anyways, we're closing in on 30 years of coming out to this show, regardless of how you slice the pie. So, a lot of memories, a lot of people we know. And a lot of them that have uh, passed away now, but good time.
sister and her kids. We had a lot of family out here this year. Stay over, this guy's coming around. Just getting ready to take a run back up by my uh, campsite. Lock down the Wander Lodge and then uh, head for home with this uh, trailer load that we got loaded up here now. It's officially the end of the party. Did we have fun, Wiggles? Yeah. Are we going to come next year? Yeah. All right. There you have it. We'll be back next year. See you guys on the uh, next video. I got some line born to new next week. You'll probably see some video of that. But catch you later.